Hi guys, this is Rahul here from myview.rahulnavy.net, which is my blog. Here in this screencast, I will be getting started with Visual Studio Code. Visual Studio Code is one of the uh, very lightweight editor for writing any Angular or any client side or server side app, including uh, AS, uh, with backend ASP.NET 5 or uh, uh, a Node, anything like. Um, so now ASP.NET 5 is renamed to ASP.NET Core. Sorry for that uh, mistake. Anyways, um, so why Visual Studio Code? The idea behind is in one of the recent blog posts I have actually talked about that I'll be soon starting writing one movie review app, of course, my usual case study with Angular 2 and TypeScript. And of course, many other tons of features will be there and uh, different packages will be there. So I'll be wiring up this time with Visual Studio Code rather than going on the usual way of Visual Studio. So uh, before setting up code, uh, there are certain prerequisites which we need to take care of and which we need to install previously, uh, uh, previous to uh, getting ahead with Visual Studio. So let's flip over there. So the very first thing which we need over here is like is uh, node chairs. So we must ensure that uh, proper version of node is installed on our machine. So here currently I'm in node chairs site. Here you can see this uh, uh, current recommended for most users 4.4.5 LTS versions which you can download and install that. So once uh, this installation is done, then what you can do is you can um, uh, flip over to the TypeScript site on the download links, right? And you can run this command npm install minus g TypeScript. So minus g is telling that you are installing TypeScript lo uh, globally, which means it will be applicable across projects. What will you will be writing um, um, across your uh, different projects, right? So uh, let me have this guy note right over here so the very first step is installing node once you install the node then you can obviously uh, install this typescript with this command right and the, after that you need to have this definitely typed inside uh, definitely typed also installed so this is the usual site for definitely typed so definitely typed is uh, is nothing but a um, a set of libraries which uh, which will be helping you to write your code in a more uh, object oriented way so it, it, it's kind of a tooling helper to you to provide this uh, while writing the code so this why i'm saying this is the tooling helper because this is not going to be deployed anywhere in your with your site when you are deploying this so this is just for the editor to understand what you're writing or transpiling the code into uh, the proper chairs, right? Which is uh, going to be the targeting options. Let's say ES5, which is not supporting uh, the ES6, uh, which is obviously because this is the current version and um, ES6 is going to have all this uh, object-oriented features inside that. So for that reason, we are using TypeScript as a transpiler uh, for unleashing these features, so object-oriented and targeting that platform to ES5. Uh, so it will be uh, installing this TST obviously with npm. So you can uh, basically search over here with this um, whatever package you, which you are looking for. So for that command, here is this uh, install instruction npm install TST minus g. Of course, for installing everything globally. I believe at this instance you have done all these things um, properly in your machine right so once this entire thing is set up so let's um, have one directory where we will be um, um, writing all our code one point to understand here is like uh, visual studio code is entirely directly directory based right so that is what um, um, that is why this is very simple editor and easy to use, right? So in order to launch this, um, I have already created hello vs directory in my Angular 2 template, uh, Angular 2 directory inside that. And um, here I'm going to launch Visual Studio with the command um, code dot. This is just a shortcut code dot. When you say code space dot, it will launch Visual Studio code in this working directory. So here in the left side, you can see this. This is my working directory. 
and currently no files are in there so the very first thing over here we need which we need to tell this editor since i'm going to use typescript to use my config file which i'm going to give you so this config file is nothing but is going to set the compiler options for this editor make sure you will not do any mistake while typing this file because this is mandatory stuff and this is going to be a JSON file. Now, in the curly braces, here I need to sell um, compiler options. All right, so here I need to set this target to ES5. Now this is done. So you can see here that uh, intelligence is helping me at every moment so this is one of the very coolest thing which is being done here and visual studio code the best part is with this is this is open source this is works with variety of languages you can explore more about visual studio code on its um, a site like how many languages it supports it supports to docker file itself markdown file um, php uh, different c sharp c plus plus all the languages which is going to be almost it supports all the um, uh, different ecosystem of languages like uh, so that is why this is um, getting um, um, very popular right even in ngcon and angular conference people uh, uh, folks from google are actually using their primary tool as visual studio code isn't this great like they are using microsoft tool as their primary tool for showcasing all the angular features anyway that's okay now let's close this file so you can just click on x sign over here and close so in order to get started with that we need some kind of ts file so typescript um, extension is ts dot ts so let's create one uh, file over here let's say hello vsc vsc is actually i'm just telling that uh, visual studio code so dot ts so now let's uh, so as you can see here this is very fantastic i mean it's giving me all possible potentials options over here what my keystrokes or what i'm typing in keystrokes right so let's say hello vsc and just do something let's let let is one of the features of es6 which you can see in its uh, typescript language itself uh, or site itself like what it does it actually is, it gives the scope here so it is going to be translated uh, to bad keyboard when it gets uh, uh, when it um, gets executed to javascript so let's say hello visual studio code and um, let's log this message i would say console log max i also need to call this guy right now in order to build this i need to type control shift b or if you're on mac machine so you, you'd be doing command shift b um so for first time it will say that no task runner is configured so for configuring this i just need to click on this configure task runner it will give me certain options like which one you like to uh, pick one out of these so just now i have configured this ts config.json as is my targeting option so i will pick this one up and uh, this has just configured with uh, all um, uh, default options what um, uh, typescript is going to use behind the scenes so this will create one task .json file in your working directory so let's close this now let's go to this ts file and just say control shift b so here you can see this at the bottom of the data it was compiling and it compiled very fast and um, it created one javascript file which is pretty much similar to what i have written just where he is uh, it came here bad right so you can do one more thing here is like um, now you can open this javascript file to the side of this ts file so that you can compare this link so on the left side is a ts file and on the right side is a javascript file so only difference which you can see here is this late keyword has been changed with this var keyword 
which is understood by our current process right now in order to expose this file i would need certain system i mean um, certain system or what not certain system i would need one html file so let's say index.html and uh, let's close this window let's have some markup over here it's good to have some title say hello code close this let's have a body tag i would be needing this script uh, with source now here my file name is hello psc.js I am including this JS file because browsers understand JS file. They don't understand TS files, right? That is why we are building and uh, and using transpiler. Now let's close this. Close this body tag as well. Close this HTML. That's okay. Now. Um, one more thing which is required over here is um, you can open this file in the console here open in command prompt right so when you do this it will just uh, open in the working directory so here you, you, need to, you need some kind of mechanisms to launch this file right so the very uh, thing which is needed here is like um, one working server web server over here right so there is a zero configuration based server which is here i have mentioned like um, this is actually my fourth step so this is that um, command which you need to install here so you need to do this in uh, working directory right so once you have done this i have already done this right so um let me just launch this with the command http task server then it will say like okay uh, there are two ports wherein this is available right so i just need to go ahead and um, say http eighty eighty one slash index.html so it came as hello code let's inspect this so you can see this hello visual studio code came there are some 404 error obviously fab icon hasn't loaded so let it let's ignore that this is not in the scope of that so, but you can uh, you can see this here that this message is coming properly so this is the just a gist of how to set up that visual studio code in the coming screencast we'll see that how to get started with angular tool and we'll be adding variety of features to this and we'll try to set up one movie review app uh, at least a working app um, uh, with this Visual Studio uh, code. Till then, stay tuned and happy coding.